Hello and welcome to The Writing Nest, brought to you by the Marlin Fitzwater Center for Communication at Franklin Pierce University. Our guest today is Amelia. Amelia, I understand that you worked with Franklin Pierce University student Danasia. Was that fun for you? Mm Mm-hmm. And let's hear the fruits of your imagination now. Read us your story. This is a story about laughing gas. It's one of my deepest, darkest fears. The evil doctors are about to give me the laughing gas. Are they even real doctors? I think to myself. I'm freaking out. It's getting closer. It's on my face, and they tell me to count down from ten. I think to myself, no way. I'll not count down. I'll never do that. I will not. Getting tired. It's making me see sunbathing mushrooms. The sun is roasting them. No, I will not eat the mushrooms. SpongeBob is eating them. Where did he come from? While I'm dreaming, I see myself. It's like watching TV. Then I start laughing for no reason. The gas must be working. As I'm laughing, a big colored bubble picks me up. As I look around, I see other bubbles filled with people I know. Then I wake up on a desert island. How did I get here? I'm all alone except for a few tropical birds. What am I going to eat here? I look around, but there are no fruit trees anywhere. Only palm trees. Then I see something. It's a shipwrecked rowboat. There's nothing in the rowboat except for an American flag. That means I'm probably in Hawaii. I'm closer to home than I thought. I grab a rock and start sharpening it. I make a sort of makeshift axe and make some wooden planks out of the palm trees. I use vines to tie the boards together to make a raft. Then I make a dress out of palm leaves and use my original dress to make a sail. I push the raft into the water and hop on. I hope I make it home. Three years later, drenched, cold, but happy, I walk up to the burnt remains of 56 Mountain Hill Road. It's good to be home. Thank you for joining us for another edition of The Writing Nest, brought to you by the Marlin Fitzwater Center for Communication at Franklin Pierce University. 